Hi Chris, uh, this is Joshua Stewart with Off The Wall. Uh, Chris asked me to come in and give you the, um, the uh, breakdown on that opening that's the um, opening for Unchain My Heart, whatever the heck it's called. Anyway, so I'm going to give you all the chords. So we're going to give you all the chords so that you understand what the whole chord looks, song looks like. Then I'm going to give you the actual introduction, note for note, so you can understand what that is. And then I'll give you some variations on top of that you can kind of play around with to kind of add your own little sound to it and a little more jazz extended stuff with it as well. So, hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so, we're going to first kind of have a look at the um, Unchain My Heart chord changes for the whole song. That way we can better understand why they're doing what they do in the beginning. This song has only got four chords in it. It's got an A minor 7th, okay, which is A minor, and then the 7th. We're going to be playing it on the bottom. Here's your A minor, there's your 7th. A D minor 7th, instead of playing it up here, we'll keep it a little lower so it sounds a little better, but there's your D minor and your 7th. I'm going to play it down here though. It's a little better sounding voice-wise. And then an A minor 7th. And then he goes back and forth from the D minor 7th to the A minor 7th a bunch of times. Da -da -da -da. There's a turnaround, and this turnaround is F and an E. Uh, you could play it F7, E7, and then A minor 7. But generally they don't. They're going to do some little more extended chords, so let's talk about that. So again, let's look at our chords. We've got an A minor 7, a D minor 7, and we go back and forth a bunch of times with that. Then we go to an F7. Change that one here in just a minute. An E seventh, and then an A minor seventh. So that's the whole song. So let's look at what they do on that turnaround. Turnaround means the chords that are bringing us back to the beginning. That F. Uh, so here's an F seventh that I showed you. One, three, five, and seven. What we're going to do is we're going to add the ninth. So if we were playing an F scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to put that ninth on top, which is a G. And because we only have so many fingers, we're going to drop the F. We don't need it because it's in the bass. And we get this chord right here called an F9. If you already know it, thank you for your patience. I just wanted to make sure we covered it in case you didn't know what that was. So there's your uh, F9. And uh, then what he does is he comes down, and this time instead of just going to an E7, again, he makes it a little more interesting. He goes to another ninth. but let me show you what happens. If we took everything down a half step and played an E7, E ninth, it looked like this, okay, which is still a pretty cool chord. You could go, in my heart. and then back, and that worked, that worked fine. But he goes, now instead of just playing a regular ninth here, which would look like this, he does a sharped ninth, okay, which takes the ninth. is A flat, B, D, and a G on top, which gives you an E sharp ninth. It's a very bluesy sounding chord. So let's go over those two chords again. The F, ninth, you're playing the third, which is an A, the fifth, which is a C, the seventh, which is an E flat, and the ninth, which is a G, you're playing Unchain My Heart. Then we're going to go to an E sharp ninth. Sharp ninth, meaning instead of this ninth, we go to this one. See, we're taking the ninth and we're upping it. So that is an E, a B, a D, and a G. And result sounds like this. Okay, it's a little more bluesy than just playing the sevenths. Now, one thing to keep in mind is very often on the seventh, what they'll do is they'll skip they'll, on the sharp ninths rather. Here's your uh, F ninth. When they go to the E sharp ninth, very often they'll just drop this fifth right here. So it ends up looking like this. Got a lot of bite to that chord. So when playing this fifth in here, you just dump it. So you get this kind of a sound. Do the same thing. Let's do something like that with the A minor seventh as well. So here's the A minor seventh. We're just playing it during the song. As I said, we're taking the seventh and putting it on the bottom here. 
if we play it but we drop the tonic, that's the, the main note, the A, we get what looks kind of like a C chord over an A. Again, has a little more bite than just this. Okay, so the introduction, let's take you through that. Now you know the chords, here's the introduction. Unchain my heart. He just takes the A minor seventh and he rolls it. That means you just take your hands and play this. Set me free. Now we're gonna do the same thing to a D minor seventh. By the way, let's get those really quickly. G, A, C, and E. Now we're gonna go to the D minor seventh and do the same thing. That is, again, the octave is just rolling, uh, the left hand is just rolling octaves. Here we've got an F, an A, a C, and a D. Set me free. Now, here what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that little cool little riff. And what he does here, to kind of show you how he does this, he's basically going to take these chords and come down. I'm just gonna give them to you and you can work them out. He does a little. Let's look at what it is. That's just an A minor. Just drag your thumb, and your right hand comes in and picks up an A minor. Again, I've taken the fifth and put it on the bottom. It's an A minor. Now, we're basically going to go down kind of an A scale or A blues or whatever, but what we're going to do is do it with chords. So here we've got an A minor chord. Then we're going to think a G chord. That's D, G, and B. By the way, that's not really so much a G chord as we're coming down the scale with thirds and fourths, but we'll call it a G chord because that's what it looks like. Then we're going to go to another A minor, and that's C, E, and, and A, so there's our first three chords. Now we're going to come down and pick up that chord that looks like the A minor seventh we were playing in the beginning except without the, the one, without the A. Looks like a C chord. Here's this regular C chord. Then we go to a D minor. Then another C, and then to an A minor seventh, which we hold. End result. A minor, G, A minor, C, D minor, C, Sounds good. Now, he goes to the F ninth, because they skipped doing the D and A back and forth in the introduction, so he goes right to the F ninth. Nothing fancy there, you're just holding the, the F chord, F ninth and rolling in there. If you like, you can add extra notes in the bass, it's not really important. You could add any of the ninths if you wanted, but really that's it. Just playing the F ninth. Now again, here you can do a seventh or sharp uh, ninth. You can either do this or I kind of like that one better, even though he on the I think on the uh, on the uh, video he went down to the seventh here. This, in order to explain this one to you, it's a really simple line to learn. Let's just real quickly run over, since this is an A, let's look at the A blues for a minute. That's A, C, D, E flat, E, G, A, G, E, E flat, D, C, A. Okay, we need to kind of know what that is because we're going to kind of use that in this riff. Really what he's doing using an A blues coming down. But what he does is, is kind of a cool, it's kind of a country lick. What you do is you, you first learn how to do this. I'm going to give you the left hand, the, 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 the lead line first. It goes like this. I'll play it here, then I'll show you how it comes down the piano. It looks like this. We can actually start it. He actually starts it up there, but we'll skip that for now. Okay, so how it looks is this. You hit that together. Excuse me. So together, you're going to hit the G and the C with your this first finger, or what you'd call a second finger if you're doing it that way, and your little finger. Then your middle finger goes, and your first finger goes, and your thumb goes. So together, it sounds like this. Again. Done quickly. There's only one hit with two fingers, and that's the first one. Now we're going to do the exact same phrase, but instead of being in this A minor 7th position here, we're going to kind of come down and pick up kind of a C minor, really an A blues, but C minor concept. Okay? So it's C, D, 
E flat and G. But other than that, we do the exact same phrase. We hit together with the one and the um, with the first finger and the little finger. Okay. So this fingers are going. That's all it is. D E flat D C. But we hit the G with it. So the end result is the whole phrase going down octave after octave is first the A minor position and the C minor position. Then we repeat that. But we start up here. Do that till you get bored. That's basically what he does. And then when he gets all done, he's going to now go down the A, A, the A blues. That's all he does. That's A, G. D, E flat, D, C, and then an octave. You can't see it on the camera there, but an octave on the low A. So the end result sounds like this. Then you get to the main part of the song, you unchain my heart. And the whole tune is just those chords, and that's your opening. And uh, the, the part that really makes it uh, swing for you is learning those little glissandos. It's a gospel thing. And the rolling. And then, of course, this little kind of country. Uh, Yeah, let's do that really slowly. Okay, so here you go, Chris. It, it, what it does is you're going to go... So it hits together. Then just repeat that. And then what you're going to do is go down the blues. Kind of a slide to the D, off the E flat, C, big octave on the down, all together. There you go. Um, one couple more details in case you're curious. If you want to extend those out a bit more, you can do kind of a cool thing here. F ninth. You can go up here and do what they call a uh, C minor major, which gives you a really kind of a cool kick. If you want to play around with that on the F ninth, it's kind of fun. It's an E flat, a G, a B, and a D. It's actually a C minor major ninth. If you want to care, minor major, but we just, whatever it is, it's basically you're extending that ninth all the way up to a really kind of a pink pantherish kind of a thing. And then on the E, if you want to take instead of the sharp ninth, you can use an alt chord, altered chord, which means we've altered everything in the chord. That one looks like this, and so for an E chord, it would be a D, a G, an A flat, G sharp, either way you look at that, or C. So Unchain Your Heart normally sounds like you would change it to this. Basically the same idea, but it kind of gives you an extra extension. Just for bonus. <laughs>